Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and today we are doing part seven, how to discern the how of a wolf. A wolf is a man or a woman who is utilizing the scriptures and spiritual things, quote unquote, to captivate you. And Jesus told us very clearly, you will know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Jesus was very clear, my friends. And the thing I want you to be very mindful of when you go in and out of uh, fellowships, these people will use false prophecy to captivate, to capture weak men and women, and usually friends, you will see these types of people prophesying to all the visitors that come into their fellowships. I'm telling you every Sunday, you're going to see the half naked praise team waltz up to the front, start singing their so-called praises to God after they sing and entertain you a little bit with their soft pornographic visual aids, them hips and thighs and those stilettos and all them fake eyelashes and all that makeup. Then comes the morning announcements. And usually this is a woman who sashays up to the front. She's just as provocative as the praise team. And she always does what? She is the one appointed to have all the visitors stand up and some of them will even tell you, do you have words? Do you want to say a little something? You want to say something? And then here comes a little bit more entertainment from the praise team and the backslidden keyboard player. Here they come with a little more mesmerizing music. And then comes the wonder of it all. The fake prophetess and prophets that step up to give all the visitors a prophecy. Friends, this is the pattern and the method of operandi of many false prophets and wolves who are utilizing so-called prophecy to captivate the weak, the unlearned, and those who are what I call prophecy junkies. Oh, they got a word for you, my friend. They have a word for everybody. These are wolves, and usually what they're speaking is very vague things that are spoken. Anybody can capture what they're saying, friends, and, and apply that. Or you go into some of these places where they are telling people their address, their phone number, things that you should know, things that you do know. There is no real revelation and enlightenment Friends, these are dangerous people. They are trying to capture you with the supernatural. And a lot of these people, you must pay attention, friends. Usually they are extremely always uh, um, passing around um, their uh, expensive uh, attires and, and cars and, and the men walk around with men purses and they just doing their thing. Friends, pay attention to these people. Very materialistic. Very, they love opulence. They love to make a scene. And here's the key. They're using, quote, prophecy to capture and captivate the weak and the unlearned. Friends, pay close attention. Seek God with your whole heart that you are not taken captive by these men and women. And the men can be extremely aggressive and they love, my friends, to call you their sons and daughters. When they get to, the, to their little prophet lion, pay attention to them, friends, because they want to capture you. And what they're thinking is when they prophesy, this is what's going to bring you back because you want to be around the, quote, word of God. It's not nothing they ever say comes to pass. I remember, and I will never forget, one of the darkest times of my life following Christ, 
and doing my best to stay clean and pure unto God, this man didn't know that I was walking in the spirit, visited his fellowship, and every time, friends, without fail, you'll see this man in public, he will just step up to you and just start prophesying every and anything he ever spoken, never, ever came to pass. I met him first out at a restaurant. He stepped right up to me. And what they're doing, friends, they're baiting you because these are they that walk around with their business card because after they prop a lot, they're going to give you that business card because they want you to come on over to the church. That's the bait. So they will be bold and step up to you, friends, with an agenda to bring you into their harem. And you will always find them teaching the false doctrine of tithing and sowing seed. Oh, yes, because after all, they're, they're the great master prophet. They're the chief apostles. He or she that has the ear to hear. Listen closely because they're howling everywhere. Don't be captivated by prophecy because prophecy cannot save you and it will not. It is Christ Jesus. And you must know, my friend, that you have met him and that you are abiding in him. God bless you, my friends. Till next time.